welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lenann. If you're new here, hi. Thanks for stopping by, checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet, a little bit about knitting, a lot about yarn, and my journey in this fabulous yarny community. Uh, returning subscribers, hi. Thanks so much for coming back, spending a little bit of your Monday with me for Vlogmas Day 19. Um, Vlogmas, what am I doing? My Vlogmas is a square a day, my Scrappy Dappy Do or Scrappy Do Da Day, uh, scrap square blanket, but it's really not scraps. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo Stripes in the colorway Favorite Stripes and a Karen Baby Cake in white. Um, this was the brainchild of Lynette and, um, Nancy at She's Got Yarn 2 and Lynette's with Charm Grammy Crochet. They swapped scraps. I didn't have scraps that were organized, so I did it my way. Um, I just wanted to join in on a, a, a square a day. It gives me something to talk about every day for Vlogmas because let me tell you, this is difficult to try to come up with something every single day. Um, and uh, it's just my way of joining in. And at the end, I have a beautiful blanket to donate to Bogey Creek. Uh, that I will get to Nancy sometime next week because it will be done by Sunday. So uh, my square is done. This one I finished yesterday after we got done and I really love it. Now let me ask you, here we have the red and the purple. Does anybody remember the red hot ladies? Wasn't this their colors, red and purple? I don't know why all of a sudden that just, it struck me when I was crocheting this. I'm like, hey, that's the red hat ladies that always read purple and red hats and were very fancy and they had their whole little society. And I don't know, I don't even know if it's a thing anymore, but I don't know. When I saw that red and purple together, that's what it reminded me of. But anyway, so this square is done and, uh, after today's square, I'll have another five to strip together and get ready to sew these all together. So I'm really loving the way this blanket is turning out and I am, I'm just thrilled to be getting it to Nancy to take to the kids at Bogey Creek. Um, all right, let's check what's in the box. We have our black box that's almost empty, you guys. So here we are with day 19 and our 19th one is oh how cute are those they're little santas all right stop jiggling they're little santas with crystals on their hat for the pom-pom oh that is just absolutely sweet she has done a fabulous job with this. Um, she is Sam with uh, Studio Seville. Um, she's in Michigan, but her shop is on Etsy. So check her out. These are just absolutely darling. Let's see. There you go. You can see them better that way. So cute. So, so cute. We've got four left, one, two, five left. Oh gosh, this, this time has gone by so fast and I've really enjoyed it. Um, crochet wise, I did finish panel number one on my um, Forget Me Not sweater. It's turning out so pretty. I'm really liking this. I'm using Yarn Bee. Soft and Sleek DK. The color is called Linen. And it's 100% low pill acrylic, 478 yards. It has used a four and a half millimeter hook. For this particular sweater, I'm using a six and a half. Um, I am almost finished with the second ball and we'll be starting the third one here soon. I'm this far on the second panel. But once you get started, these go fast. My problem I'm finding with this is that I, I have to take my blanket off. It's getting warm in here. If you can hear the fan blowing, my space heater is on 
because it is currently 45 degrees and I'm freezing. But I am using this blanket. I love this. This is so warm. But I'm, now I'm getting a little warm. So I gotta take it off my legs. Um, back to the sweater. The, my problem is I've, this is the fifth, fourth one that I've done of this pattern. And I'm kind of bored with it. Um, so I have to force myself to get it. Now that I'm on a deadline, I have to have this done by Saturday. It, that will motivate me, but at the beginning, it's just like, oh, do I really want to do this pattern again? Not that there's anything wrong with this pattern. Believe me, I love this pattern. It's very simple, um, and it creates such a beautiful fabric, but I've done it so many times that I just, it's like, I want to do something else. So granny squares are monotonous. This is becoming monotonous, so I, I need to zhuzh it up a little bit, but I, I need to get this finished, so... That's, that's why I think I'm just lacking a little bit of motivation, but I think the time crunch is going to help me get motivated. Um, and then yesterday, um, I ran down to our mailbox. I didn't leave the house Saturday. I didn't feel good. So I never went to our mailbox and our mailbox is like four blocks from here. It's not, they don't come to our house. We have to go to a central mailbox. And so I jumped on the golf cart and went down and when I came home, I said to my husband, I said, did you buy me a crochet magazine for Christmas? And he's like, no, why? And I said, well, because I got one in the mail and I, it came to my name in my, in our address. I did not buy a, a magazine subscription. I don't know if this is a one-off or what, but I did get a crochet world magazine and it is the current one. Well, February of 2020, um, and I don't, I didn't buy it, but maybe it's just a one-off marketing thing. I don't know, but it is so pretty. There are so many really cute ideas in this, but this is the one I want to show you. This is on page 62. This wrap. It's done in a number three yarn. And I just got all those um, wheels from Willow Yarns. And I am thinking that this would be beautiful in one of those. Um, it says it uses Premier Color Fusion DK. 325 yards and it uses three balls of that and that's apparently a self-striping yarn because there's no colors so I am thinking that I'm going to pick out one of those color wheels that I got from Willow Yarns and make this because it's a nice long rectangle wrap and it's v-stitches and black stitches according to this and I think it'll be pretty so I, it's called the berry wrap and I, I really think that'll be pretty to make there are so many other things in this magazine there's a couple of different scarves a couple blankets a pocket scarf Ooh, what's that 50 what's on page 50 The warm hug cardigan. Hmm. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Using that. Ooh. This takes. It, according to this pattern, it's Red Heart with Love, and it takes five skeins with a six millimeter hook, I have more than enough to make it in this. And this is what I picked up at Ollie's a couple weeks ago, the uh, Bernat Premium Tweeds in, what's the name of this one? Iced Latte, I think. Oh, it's, of course it's under the... Chocolate tweed is what it's called. 
But I think that would be pretty in that, don't you? Hmm. All right. No. Slow down, girl. You got too much to do uh, before you can start. Wow, that's really cute. Um, but anyway, I don't. No clue how I got this magazine. Um, maybe tomorrow we'll go through it a little bit more and see what's in it. But when I saw that wrap, that berry wrap, I just, I just thought that it would be perfect for those uh, willow cakes that I got. So anyway, so that's, uh, that's my blog today, guys. Um, I'm going to finish my next square, my today's square, and then I'll have five. Um, and maybe this afternoon I'll either, either this afternoon or tonight, I'll put that strip together, see how we're working up with that, um, and show you that finished up tomorrow. Um, this afternoon I am running to the villages. Pray for me. I have to go pick up the last Christmas present for our granddaughter, Charlotte. I had to order it, um, and the closest target that had it is the one in the villages. So, <sighs> traffic should be a nightmare. They're doing construction on the main drag through the villages. I don't know if they finished it. I haven't been over there in a while. Plus, the snowbirds are back. So, the traffic is like doubled over there during uh, like December, January, February, into March, sometimes even into April. And that place is busy to begin with. It is, the population in the villages is just exploding. So I think the, the population in Florida in general is exploding, but the villages is just crazy busy. So, but it was, it's what she wanted. And again, like I said yesterday, we do what we can for our kids and our grandkids. So I'm off to the villages as soon as this drop box finishes downloading. So, you know, Send me all your good vibes so that I don't road rage somebody. I'm really trying really hard, people. It's hard. I know I say every day, be kind to someone. But, you know, you never know what they're going through. But, you know, it's a thing. So I'll say it again. Enjoy your Monday. Be kind to everyone. 